I want to introduce our next segment. I believe that art gives us a window into what's happening and what is possible. Regina Holiday, in her HXD talk years back, said that throughout history, social movement, social movements have started with artists. I'm a visiting lecturer uh, at Massachusetts College of Art. I teach in their master's program for design and innovation. And critiquing uh, projects uh, with students, I came to realize that they really take a different lens at looking at things. Uh, millennials sometimes get a bad rap, but they are integrating uh, social economy and social fabric into the solutions they're creating, and it's amazing. Now, right down the street at Berklee School of Music, we have a different type of creativity and a different type of art. And those students are looking at the very same things. How do we solve wick wicked problems and social challenges, leveraging our creativity and our voice and how we use it? Uh, social issues affect health. Uh, we know about social determinants of health. So it's really important for us to understand what are the social challenges in front of us and how might they affect health. So I hope that uh, you will consider that uh, as these musicians share their stories with us. I put down the fork when you were in looking. All the words you said to me Trying to feel pretty, but no I feel nothing at all I wanted something Something more than what they call me Numbers on a scale become identities Say I'm fine, but I'm spiraling Cause you look at me like you do So I eat all the words that 
you said I've got so many in my head I worry about Friends, uh, my name is Mikkel, and I really like music stuff, so I'm gonna play this this music stuff. Sally used to sell seashells by the seashore. She don't no more. She always selling rocks to my dad. I love my mom. She's everything I've ever or never had. She looks so much different now. When I look at old photographs right by 79th Street Beach, everybody on the block smoke weed. Black kids on the block, they get tall like I'm white, so they don't really fuck with me. So much prostitution, it's an aesthetic. The cops on the block are so pathetic. Living in the ghetto, there's a girl on the corner stilettos and a see her at church on Sunday. Go figure, popping pussies and triggers, walking home from school. I'm so blessed to have made it home for dinner. We were never safe here, oh, oh, we were never safe here, ooh, we were never safe here, oh, oh, we were never safe. There's always dime bags in the sand, my mom makes me hold her hand when we outside, go to the beach where she likes to write, and I look at myself in front of the water, reflect in my reflection, it's refreshing, how many niggas gotta die for a lesson, I'm so shook, it's overlooked, the Cops are crooks, we just counting our blessings. A cop at the end of the block who sells cocaine by the candy shop. Be the main one stealing on the street, dealing on the street. We were never safe here. Cops ain't never protect me. No place safe, so we chillin' auntie basement. But your mistaken is taking me for complacent. No gold medal for making it out the ghetto. I'll remember to hug my mom as soon as I get home. We were never safe here. Oh, oh, we were never safe. kind of emotional after that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Daisy. Uh, this is my accompanist, Ness Silva, and we're going to be playing a song I wrote called Stockholm Syndrome. It's a fucked up love, but I 
Thank you. Hi, uh, my name is Maria Landy, and I'm going to be playing a song I wrote called We Know. He took what you didn't give And no one knows that you still smell like his skin But you know Thank you. 
Well, um, I just want to thank uh, musicians from Berkeley School of Music for sharing um, part of their soul with us. And it reminds me of how we're storytellers. And, you know, humans are feeling beings. Uh, we have stories. Uh, we, we're wanting to bring patience to the table. We're wanting to have empathy for our colleagues and collaborate. But it all comes down to What's our purpose? What are we trying to achieve? And how do we inspire people, like my mom said, not just with our heads, but with our hearts, and tell the stories that will motivate change so that we are envisioning and building a better future for our kids? Um, so again, uh, fabulous treats in the foyer. Um, we have five minutes, uh, and then the tracks will start. So go! <laughs> Thank you, guys.